Hey guys, Killer6 back with another tips and tricks video for Borderlands the pre-sequel and this time we're taking a look at the Lab 19 mission located in the research and development map. Now I've had several people message me saying that they're having trouble with this so if you're like them then use this guide to quickly and easily work your way through this mission. To start the mission you will have needed to already completed the science and violence mission and then once you're in the research and development map make your way to the exclamation point in the northeast portion of the map to find that scientist that I just showed you trigger his echo recorder and the mission begins. Now head back toward the uh, same direction you came from and find the second echo recorder on yet another dead scientist. After listening to his echo recorder, make your way back toward the beginning of the map and you will find a console. Now when you trigger this console, uh, you press the button and that'll open up lab 19 for you. And as you can see right here, you just find this console, click that and this wall slides down and there's lab 19, it's pretty easy. And I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick on the map where this is, just in case you get lost. Now, uh, once you're done with that, go up here and click on the console. And when you click on activate, a series of numbers will appear up on the upper part of the wall in front of you. These numbers will be different every time. Now, what you need to do is find the correct sequence for these numbers by venturing north on the map until you reach the window back here after you jump over this slimy looking pile of goo. I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> but simply aim down sights and look through this window. You'll see these numbers right here. Now, uh, the numbers reset after so long, so make sure you take note of the bar on the right side of the numbers, because then when that bar reaches the bottom, those numbers do reset. So once you have your four numbers, you need to head back over to the lab as quickly as possible, and make sure you have a gun equipped that either has a really good sight or a good fire rate. And what you want to do is you want to shoot to the left of the numbers to decrease the number, shoot to the right of the numbers to increase the number. It's pretty straightforward. And as you can see here, I get my number pretty quick and easy. Then you just click on the center console and that's going to trigger the little tiny boss fight here. And I say tiny because that's what this guy's actually called, the Tiny Destroyer. And he's actually a really easy fight because he doesn't move at all. It also appears to have a very low shield capacity and health, but if you're lucky, he will drop you a Moonlight Saga Legendary. But since this enemy is not repeatable, if you want to farm him, you're going to need to either Alt F4 or set your game save to read only to repeat this part of the quest. That's for PC only. Now Xbox and PlayStation users will have to dashboard to repeat the fight. Now once you are done, you want to head back to the Hyperion Hub of Heroism to collect your reward. Simply travel on the map to meet Dr. Nakayama and he will give you the Octo Shotgun. So, if this video was helpful for you, then please take a moment to click that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, share this video with your friends, maybe they're having some trouble with this mission too, who knows. But I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys back here in the next video. Take care.